Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Wawile again talking about different science and topics. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website which is magazine.hml.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue and by topic. The article to review today is microplastics everywhere. The tiny particles are even in our bodies. What might this mean for our health? That's a good question, right? Fiber, flakes, sphere, foams. Every day we eat, drink, and inhalate tiny bits of plastic. What happens once they enter to our bodies is a question that worries a growing number of scientists and clinicians. The study of whether and how microplastic particles smaller than 5 millimeters that slow off plastic as it degrades pose threat to human health is still in the infancy. As the World Health Organization underscore in 2022 report, current technologies don't yet enable research to quantify population level microplastic exposure or weigh what proportion of those particles stay in our bodies. However, microplastic ubiquitous in the environment combined with preliminary findings from human cells and animal studies over the past decade have led to urgent call for more research and regulation. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University, we are doing the review of this beautiful article, it's microplastic everywhere, remember guys, so I will continue doing the review straight away. There are so many and now, says Bernard, he is an adjunct professor of environmental epigenetics at the Harvard School of Public Health, but we are seeing more data that suggests microplastic affect human biology. Understanding what these particulars might do to our gene cells and organs is of increasing importance of changing water partners sweep microplastic into more of air plants, waters, and air. Fortunately, according to ELF, he is a Harvard Medical School visiting professor of dermatology at Massachusetts General Hospital and Fatma, she is a Harvard Medical School research fellow in neurosurgery at Mass General. The medical community is becoming more acknowledgeable about plastic particles, pollution, and the disease and syndromes that may be linked to it. We encourage microplastics everywhere from trash, dash, fabrics, cosmetic, cleaning products, rain, seafood, produce, table salt, and more. Little wonder that microplastics has been detected through the human body, including in the blood, saliva, liver, kidneys, and placenta. Investigators are proving how they get into other organs and tissues from the lungs and gastrointestinal tracts. Microplastic is smaller than one micrometer, no as nanoplastic worry research that must because they can infiltrate cells. Using a model of human intestinal lining, a team led by Philly DeMock, he is the director of the Environmental Health Nanoscience Laboratory at Harvard Chan School, found the nanoplastics can enter cells in two different ways and even get into cell nucleate. Lessons from the file of environmental toxicology raise flags about cancer and reproductive issues. A study in cells, culture, marine, wildlife, and animal models indicate that microplastic can cause oxidative damage, DNA damage, and changes in the gene activity no risk for cancer development. Microplastics have been found in human breast milk and meconium on infant first stool. A few studies in in mice have found reproductive effects such as reduced sperm count and quality ovarian scarring and metabolic disorders of offspring.
Microplastic physical properties are on source of potential hazards. Some marine organisms seem to be eating more microplastic and fiber nutrients, which can reduce by up the food chain. In human research, point to illnesses caused by particular air pollution, which contain microplastic and by workplace exposure to plastic dust. Other threats arise from chemical in and or microplastic particles, including plastic components such as BPA and heavy metal that are known or suspect to cause disruption to nervous, reproductive and other systems. Although the variety of microplastics and the difficulty of estimating accumulation in human tissue make it challenging to pin down risk, finding in models show inflammation, cell death, lung and liver effects changing the gut microbiome and altering lipids and hormone metabolisms. While your research develops solutions, scientists are exploring plastic eating microorganisms and plastic alternatives. Individuals can advocate for reduced plastic manufacturing and more recycling, and physicians can push for greater sustainability in hospitals and clinics. We want to get rid of terrible plastic in our transdisciplinary projects, our hospitals and our patients live. That has been grown by Demit and Turna Demit in the email. Find strategies to segregate and recycle plastic medical waste, review the use of plastic, especially single-use plastics and synthetic desired products. As plastic waste sky rocks, threat to human health may scale, according to May 2021 Nature New Articles. The production and disruption of plastic produced particles and gases that contribute to climate change, and plastic left to break down in the environment release greenhouse gases. Studies suggest that microplastics destroy marine microorganisms globally, crucial roles of subsequent carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. This deficit further jeopardize our health and that of our planet. This article, remember guys, the title of this article is Microplastic Everywhere. This article has been wrote by Stephanie Dodgen, is the manager of future content and multimedia in the Office of Communications and External Relations at Harvard Medical School. Alright guys, see you next time. Bye bye.